we got a blackout and we gotta we gotta get a light going. Yeah. But my man just cashed out on this beautiful piece. From Australia. He's gonna be the only one in Australia. If you're in Australia and you're watching this, hide your women. All right guys, what's going on? Jumping into this week's video, wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, comment, subscribe down below. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, please let us know. Also guys, want to just touch base with you about the giveaway winner from last week's video who's going to be going home with a very nice merch pack. So Michael Sanchez, congratulations my brother. I loved your comment. I love the piece that you talked about. AP26065IS. That is going to be a grand complication from AP. Although not a $10,000 watch, it is one of my favorite watches. Open worked, perpetual minute repeater, extremely, extremely difficult to find watch and incredibly impressive. Congratulations, brother. You're gonna be going home with that merch pack. We'll set it up and send it out to you. Also, our Basel week in Miami was absolutely amazing to us. Thank you guys for everyone who stopped down. Thank you for the business. Let's hop into the video. So Angeli is from Freedom Media Group. He just made our TPT Forms website and he's working on TPT's website. This guy is a killer. Like I've worked oh, with five or six oh, people nice. already for this website. No one's able to do it. This guy killed it. it took like what, three it. weeks. Yeah. The guy we paid before took four months, came back to me with absolute shit, bro. I was frustrated as so. hell. Yeah, so I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. You're the best. That, that's tight on you, right? Yeah, it's a little, a little tight. tight. I'll be uniform in every single piece. Yeah, this is for you, by the way, because you built us uh, oh. these two websites for us. Uh, sure, like nice I said, my staff. I appreciate it. Yeah. Like, we're going to take the business, Forex the business. If you can Forex my business, bro, it's a huge thing. <laughs> we right? love, like, we're we doing love. huge numbers already. In 2X, I'm happy, bro. Okay. 1.3X, I'm very happy. <laughs> Serious. Like, we'll like, do it. If just off a website, well, we're like, able to do that? Yeah, like, we need a strong collaboration. Like, like every week we need to work together. It was our Basel last week and it was absolutely slammed and packed in Miami. We had non-stop appointments in the office and it was crazy overall. Office during the day, events at night, people coming in non-stop. Really excited for the businesses to meet so many amazing and new and great people and a lot of return customers. However, there is a few pieces that I want to talk to you guys about because we did get them in for Basel and we sold them to a few customers. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start off with a little RM package that a customer picked up on Friday of last week. So we actually had this black Johan come in and it is going to be going out to a customer. This piece is limited of 150 pieces. It is an all black Johan complete with box and papers. This is actually the first time that we've had this piece in stock here, timepiece trading. Really beautiful watch, honestly. I was very impressed by it. To be quite honest with you, the standard yellow and green Johan is not my favorite, favorite colorway. But this all black Johan is absolutely stunning and I was really excited for the customer to pick it up. He loved the watch so much, he actually doubled down and he picked up a second piece, which is going to be a RM6501 rose gold with NTPT sides. So he ended up picking up both of them, a nice package for him and he's gonna be very excited to go back home with both of them. I'm really happy that he was able to pick them both up. Like I said, it is rare for us to have a black Johan in stock. And 6501s have been going very fast for us and a lot of customers have been picking them up now that they've seen a pretty decent drop. So they're right, trading right around retail at the moment. So a lot of people are circling back to pick them up. When this watch came out, the NTPT version of it was going for almost a million dollars. Today that watch is trading in the high $400,000. So a significant price drop. It's not that in my opinion, the watch is necessarily a bad watch or people didn't take kindly to it. The main problem with that watch is it just went up way too fast. Now they've dropped down back, back to reality and a lot of people are circling back to get them. So moving right along, we actually have another special piece to talk about, which is a piece that I've been trying to put into my personal collection for a long time. So this is a Vacheron Dual Time Everest. This is a very, very, very special watch. Also limited of 150 pieces in the world. This is a piece that I've been looking for myself for a long time. So when these guys came out trading around $150,000, it's 
Today you can pick one of these guys up in the 70s, $80,000 range. Now, this deal is not complete yet. It is a piece that I'm working on, but the customer is interested in trading this piece in for an ARM 30 chronometry edition, which we just got back from a very good customer of ours, Ryan. He ended up picking up an Asia edition ARM 11 during Basel week. We bought back his ARM 30 chronometry. That same week a customer came in, loved the chronometry, fell in love with it, and now he's looking to trade his dual time Everest in towards it. So we'll see if we're able to pick this guy up. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is probably gonna be going into the personal collection if I am able to scoop it up. Really excited about it, and I'll keep you guys updated as the trade goes along. Now, moving on to the main event, we are going to be talking about a piece that we have never had here at Timepiece Trading. This is actually not just this colorway, but in general, this is our first AP Minute Repeater in a Royal Oak case. So this is going to be the AP Minute Repeater with a salmon dial. This guy is going to be limited of 30 pieces in the world. Absolutely stunning of a watch. It is in a full titanium case. What's really interesting about this watch is it actually does feature an open case back to a degree. So if you guys look at the back of the watch here, the back of the watch actually is open. So you are able to hear the chimes sounding a lot better through the open case back and the titanium case in general. So let me just start this minute repeater for you guys, although the time is not set, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like and see how incredible this watch really is. Wow, that absolutely never gets old. So this piece, incredibly special minute repeater. To be honest with you, looking at the prices of Audemars Piguet today and high complication pieces like a minute repeater, to me, this is one of the deepest value watches that AP has to offer. This was a watch that I was able to sell my customer actually under retail. It boasts a retail of almost $365,000 which is quite, quite impressive. So really excited for this customer to pick it up. He actually loved this watch so much. I'm going to be delivering it to him. I've been looking for it for a long time, but in the meantime, he did decide to pick up a second piece as well, which is also quite rare. So let me talk to you guys about this. Now, this is going to be a limited of 50 stainless steel green dial perpetual calendar from Hourglass. So Hourglass is a very prominent and well-known authorized dealer from around the world. This is a very special piece featuring that amazing green dial. To me, this is absolutely stunning of a watch. The green dial on this watch absolutely kills every other green dial on the market. Very reminiscent of the green from a John Mayer Daytona, but this is one of my favorite pieces of, from AP of all time. Absolutely stunning and it looks amazing paired with the salmon minute repeater. So here's the two side by side. Really excited for my customer to be picking up both of these, gonna be delivering them over to him probably today or tomorrow, and really excited for him to take these guys in and wear them and enjoy them in good health. So ho hopefully you guys like these pieces. Hopefully you've never seen them before so we can be uh, you know excited to see something new on the channel. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments as far as what you think about these pieces and if you would cop or drop. Now, besides these two pieces, we also sold, like I mentioned before, an Arm 11 Asia, which is a brown ceramic with rose gold sides, Arm 11, and we sold two 5980s. So we had a customer that actually has not been back in the store for almost three years. He was one of our first customers. He came in, he bought an AP 15500 ST. He came back this week to pick up a 5980 during Basel. He's gonna be picking up a 2017 5980. And we had another crypto customer that came in and picked up a 2022 5981R with the new buckle. So two different pieces, two drastically different price points comparing new to use, as well as the new buckle to the old buckle. Really excited for those customers. Thank you guys so much for coming down. And we'll be back as soon as something happens. Very interesting at the office. Thank you guys so much and see you soon. What are some ones that you recommend for what I'm looking at? And Honestly, I'd recommend getting the 50th, uh, 50th anniversary just because it's yeah. going to be discontinued at the end of the year. Okay. And I feel like that piece is always going to hold its premium just because it, it is a 50th anniversary. Um, investment wise, I wouldn't recommend going to the older one just because I don't see much room for it going up. And prices have been crazy as, you, as you've seen, I'm sure. Like, What do you have here right now with, with the uh, leather strap? What's the one up there? Uh, the older stuff. So this is the 
before the they made the blue and the chocolate, they made a black and a white dial. This reference is 263200. This is also a 41, yeah? Correct. So with the blue dial, um, especially on the 50th anniversary pieces, I've been told that it looks like a black dial too. I agree. When the light shines on it, it's blue. That's why I kind of like the older one more. I know 50th anniversary is appealing because it's like, but I kind of like the rose gold subdials in it. Yeah, because the other one's all blue. Mm -hmm. This is the one you're sourcing me, right? Correct. Do you see how dark it looks even in a photo? Like, tell me that's not black or am I losing my mind? Yeah, it looks dark to me as well in a photo. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Kind of honestly like just more than anything, just the sporty look of the leather strap. Not necessarily, I feel like these are too heavy for me personally. I'm more of a casual guy. You want to try this on? So that way you'd see how it'd feel on your wrist because it'd be the same like leather strap for the, the 50th anniversary. So it's basically this watch. Correct. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, this oh, feels good. Nice, What's going on guys? Checking in for the weekly update on the gold prices. Last week we saw gold trending right around 1750 per ounce. Today we are trending right around 1780 per ounce. It is Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning. So with the fix actually already came out. So we're gonna check on that in just a few minutes. The fix is gonna be the locked in price that dealers work off of based on the day. We don't really look at the spot price and what's happening. Of course, that is gonna be a big indication of our buying and selling process but it also helps us work and stabilize on a controlled market when gold is changing throughout the day. So that is your update, 1750 last week, 1780 today, about a 1% change. Look forward to catching up with you guys next week and giving you another update. Yeah, bro, I've literally, he's given it to me to try out. Like oh, yeah. like, Which one, the, does he wears the Turbions, the regular yeah. Mandels? Whatever the first one he ever got was, uh, that's the one he gave I think me. he started with the 35 and then it went to the Turbulence. Off season right now or what? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I've been hurt for a little bit. Um, yeah. Recovering from like a couple of tears in my arm. Um, so I'll, I'll kick off playing it maybe end of January or February. Um, so, but I gotta get back to hitting balls and shit. Uh, how does it, how does stuff tear in your arm? Just the swings? Just overuse, man. No. Just do the same repetition a million times. Yeah. Do the same movement. I mean, tennis is, we're not like a physical sport in the sense that we're not getting hit or anything, but it's still super We're doing uh, the same thing with balls, super like intense. A million times like this. So eventually, it's somebody's gonna hurt. You need a Richard on your wrist, bro, while you're playing. Yeah. Bro, uh, I'm working on getting the AP. That, that, that's Which what one? I need. Just the Royal Oak, that's all. Like, yeah. right now, it's a good time to buy, bro. Like, there's I mean, no. I think, I think the overall market's gonna go down. Even more, honestly. That's what some and people are saying. Not, people not just not just watches, but everything. But stocks, crypto. I, I mean, three, five, six months ago, nobody was losing jobs. No one was getting laid off. Like now, I'm hearing rumblings. Like now friends, like people are getting laid off. People are like now. I feel like we're gonna start hitting like a yeah, stocks are going down again today. Yeah. Like they have been going up. Today was a really yesterday was yeah. bad again. And again, today a little bit lower too. Watches yeah. actually stable yeah, stabilized yeah. and yeah. came a little back up, bro. Yeah, uh, like pieces that were people realized were too cheap have yeah. gone back up or stable. Like steel Rolex is doing well again. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's uh, I mean watches is again it's, a, it's people that buy them don't they don't need the capital. Yeah. It's kind of like extra capital for them. It's not like well know, that's how it should be. Theoretically, if it yes. was all like that, then we wouldn't have had this big drop. Yeah, yeah I guess so. But we have but, irresponsible but, but parts. It's, it's overall better. Overall, overall for sure. Yeah. For the most majority part. This is an RM11 Titanium, America's edition, limited to 30 in the world. We're asking 182. Bro, 182. And it's 30 in the world. Like the one you have is probably not even limited. It's, it's a, it's a, yeah. Like before this was worth maybe like 205, you know? If you bought it two months ago, then honestly you did okay. To be honest, at 180. Yeah, yeah, you, you did good. Yeah, yeah, you Gucci then, bro. But yeah, but let's do it. Um, so let's, I'm gonna get this one. Okay. Um, that's for sure. Just, we're gonna have the links and get it polished. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, we have that ready for you by tomorrow. So I have a client coming in today at three o'clock. He hit me up. He wanted to make an appointment to come check out some jewelry. He has been taking a look at our Instagram and seeing a lot of jewelry. So he hit me up. He's like, hey, I want to come in for an appointment. So that's at three in about four hours. So we'll check back in with you when he gets here and we'll show you what he picks up. So what's going on? How are you guys doing? Good. Came in from Australia and I was like, I don't want to get something, so maybe we'll try to do timepiece trading. You're here for our basil? No, that's, that's the missed thing. It. You missed it! Yeah. So we booked our flights and then we found out about Art Basel later on once we booked the flights. Yeah. So we were like a day late. We came here 
a day off to finish. So. so you came Monday? Yep. Yeah, we went yeah. to LA and then came back. We were in LA day. before that for like two, three days and the weather was so bad. And then... To be honest with you, like, Art Basel is cool. It's a cool event, but there are so many people that are here. You can't get in anywhere. Everything is packed. Traffic is insane. Like, it, and like, all of a sudden, like, like at 11, like table prices were yeah. 50,000 yeah. for like the four when on like a normal night, it's like 3,000, 5,000. Like, like, I just, like, you know, it's like, so it's, it's a crazy weekend. It's fun to be here, but almost kind of better that you guys missed it. So talk to me, what do you want to see? Um, I sent you the bracelet. The, the, those bangles, those yeah, cup bangles. bangles. Yeah, I wanted that. Do you have it in white gold? I do. Yeah. So you want to see, do you want me to bring all of them? Yeah. If possible, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else, you, chains, um, bracelets, or? Strictly just that. Watch I don't know. Uh, I was thinking maybe a chain as well, but I, like I know I kind of want the bracelet first. But all right, let me let me bring let me bring a couple myself. of things. So I brought a couple of different things to show you. How's it for sizing? Because I feel like my wrists are pretty small. So. Yeah. So for sizing, I think this size is going to be yeah, perfect. Oh, shit. So they make two. They make two. We make two different ones. We make half pave, meaning that the diamonds stop. Mm -hmm. Quarter way through, yes. or we make full pave, meaning that you have diamonds going all the way through. Okay. So yeah, true. there's full and half. What's the price difference between these two? I'll tell you right now. This is going to be 4200. Okay. 55 and 42. What's the, um, how many carats is the gold? So it's going to be 14 carat white gold. There's 2.4 carats total of diamonds in this one, and in this one, 4.97. So 2.4, 4.97. So getting after it, midday, cheers. Bro, after this past weekend, this just tastes like water. All right, so my boy Carl pulled up from Australia, came in to do some shopping. We had a blackout. There's currently no lights here at TPT. The whole building is out. So we decided to take a bottle of 42 and just celebrate the blackout. Let's do it. That's what we do. Congrats on your new piece. Thank you. What happens? We got a blackout and we gotta, we gotta get a light going. Yeah. But my man just cashed out on this beautiful piece from Australia. He's going to be the only one in Australia. If you're in Australia and you're watching this, hide your women. All right, so we just concluded this week's episode. As you got to see, it was crazy busy in our office. Art Basel weekend, clients coming in and out. In terms of Art Basel, didn't get to see too much art, unfortunately, but got to enjoy the uh, aftermath of all the events. So it was really fun to connect with some clients see folks just coming in and out of Miami. It was a crazy hectic weekend. So if you stopped by TPT last week to check us out during the week, thank you so much, really appreciate it. Also, thanks again for everyone that was out this week and that came by and said hi to us. We really appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below and we look forward to catching you on next week's video.